In this video, we will learn how to solve a scheduling problem using the longest processing time algorithm. The problem might look like this. A large job is broken into tasks of length 15, 22, 14, 9, 17, 31, 27, 8, 15, 11, and 11 minutes. Assign these tasks to three processors using the longest processing time algorithm. That's a lot of information. Let's try to understand what we're dealing with here. First of all, let's remember that a scheduling problem is pretty similar to a bin packing problem. The tasks in a scheduling problem are like the weights in a bin packing problem. The processors in a scheduling problem are like the bins in a bin packing problem. In a bin packing problem, you don't know how many bins you're going to need at the beginning, and the bins have a limited capacity. And once a bin is full or doesn't have any room left, then you might open up a new bin. In a scheduling problem, we know in advance exactly how many processors we're going to have, and the processors have an unlimited capacity. Now let's look at the longest processing time algorithm. First of all, we're going to sort the task times from largest to smallest. Then we'll assign each task, one at a time, to the processor that currently has the least total amount of time assigned to it. Again, if we're thinking about this kind of like a bin packing problem, when we get a new weight that we're trying to assign, we're going to put it into the bin that has the least amount of stuff in it. If there's a tie for which processor has the least amount of time assigned to it, then we're going to assign the task to the first processor that is tied. So for example, if processor number one is tied with processor number three, then we're going to choose to put our next task into processor number one. So we'll always break the tie using the lowest numbered processor. Okay, so let's do this problem. Remember that our first step was to sort the list of tasks from largest to smallest. So there's our original list in the order that it was given in the problem, and now we're going to put together a sorted list. So we're going to go down our list of tasks and find the largest number on that list, and that will be the first thing on our sorted list. And I recommend actually crossing out the tasks as we write them on our sorted list. This way you avoid duplicating and you also will hopefully avoid missing a task. So this helps you make sure that you get all of the tasks in this sorted list. So the next longest task is 27, then 22, then we've got our 17, two 15s, a 14, our two 11s, the 9, and the 8. One thing I also like to do at the end is to count the number of things in the original list. In this case, there were 11 different tasks that we're looking at. And make sure that my sorted list has that same number of tasks on it. And a quick check here tells us that we didn't miss anything. Okay, now that we've got our sorted list, we're ready to start assigning these tasks to processors. So let's make a little table here. We've got our three processors. We've got a space for us to put the tasks that have been assigned to those processors. Since the longest processing time algorithm tells us that we need to assign each task to the processor that has the least amount of time assigned to it, we'll have to keep track of how much total time we've assigned to each processor as we go along. Right now, we haven't assigned any tasks yet, so the total amount of time assigned to each processor is zero. So where do we assign our first task, that task that's 31 minutes long? Well, there's a three-way tie for which processor has the least amount of time assigned to it. They all have zero assigned to them. So we break the tie by assigning this task to the lowest numbered tied processor. In this case, that's processor number one. So we're going to put that 31 in the spot under processor number one. We'll update our total time assigned. We've got 31 minutes assigned to processor number one. And we'll put a little check mark on our task 31 to make sure that we don't repeat that. And again, this helps us keep track of the tasks that we've assigned, the tasks that we haven't assigned, and helps us keep from using a task twice or skipping a task. The next task is 27 minutes long. We've got a tie between processors number two and three for which processor has the least amount of time assigned to it. So we'll assign that next task to processor number two. Again, if there's a tie, break it by using the lowest numbered processor. So now we've got 27 minutes assigned to processor number two. Our next task is 22 minutes long and processor number three is the processor that has the least amount of time assigned to it. So that's what the 22 gets. Our next task is 17. Processor number three, once again, is the processor that has the least amount of time assigned to it. So that's where we'll put our 17. And again, notice that we're keeping our total time assigned updated. So now we've got 39 minutes total assigned to processor number three. Now we've got a task that's 15 minutes long. Processor number two, with its 27 minutes, is the processor with the least amount of time assigned to it. So that's where we'll put that 15. We've got another 15 minute long task. And now processor number one is the processor with the least amount of time assigned to it. So that's where we'll put our 15. Now we've got a task that's 14 minutes long. 
we're back to processor number 3 being the processor with the least amount of time assigned to it. 39 is the lowest number in that total time assigned column. So processor number 3 is going to get that task that's 14 minutes long. Now we've got a task that's 11 minutes long. Processor number 2 has the least amount of time assigned to it, so that's where we'll put our 11. Now processor number 1 has the least amount of time assigned to it, so that's where we'll put our next 11 minute long task. For our next task, that's 9 minutes long, now we've got a tie again. Processor numbers 2 and 3 are tied with 53 total minutes as assigned each. So again, we'll break that tie by assigning it to the lowest numbered processor that's tied. In this case, that's processor number 2. And then finally, our last task that's 8 minutes long goes to processor number 3 because that has 53 minutes, which is the lowest amount of total time assigned. So this is the solution. This is the result of using the longest processing time algorithm to sort these tasks from biggest to smallest and then assign them to three processors.